survivors aim to rebuild, recovering from the emotional and mental trauma is its own challenge. Joining us with more on dealing with those struggles is Lisa Grove of Maui United Way. Lisa, thank you so much. You were the lead researcher for a countywide survey and also a study focusing specifically on displaced survivors. What did that research look at? We looked at the mental and physical financial well-being of the fire survivor community, how they felt uh, that their sort of assessments of the, the disaster relief and the support that they got, um, in some cases the lack thereof. Uh, we looked at some basic what's called the social determinants of health, the things that drive uh, health and well-being within a community, um, and really wanted to understand uh, and give them an opportunity to speak with their own voice. We asked a lot of closed-ended questions, but we spent a lot of time asking open-ended questions, and it was amazing the volume of answers and responses we got from this community, which says that they need to be heard and they have a lot to say. And Lisa, we've up until this uh, anniversary, we've been talking to a lot of survivors, especially those who've lost everything. Some have said they've moved as much as five, six times. What kind of impact does that instability have on the recovery? Yeah, our survey found that 59% of the fire impacted individuals moved at least three times. We've heard stories up to 10 or 15 times. The biggest issue was uncertainty and not, and not having a kitchen. It was hard for people who had pets. It was also kind of twilight zone-ish for people living in the resorts where there are resort goers in the room next to them as they're trying to figure out their paperwork for their insurance and things like that. We had a number of folks tell us that they actually felt more trauma going through this process that felt pretty broken to them than, than going through enduring this horrible fire itself. Really alarming. Now, what did your study reveal about how residents felt about government support programs? We had, um, by a margin of 14 percentage points, more folks that went through the system saying they were dissatisfied than satisfied, and by uh, and 27 percent of our dissatisfied folks said they were quote unquote very dissatisfied, uh, and the the frustration was. Uh, feeling like uh, there were people coming from the continent who didn't understand our culture. Uh, Lahaina, before the fires, there were six languages commonly spoken there, and not being able to communicate in their the language of their choice was difficult. Uh, they felt like they were moved around from you know person to person, and there were the number of times people said disaster tourism, or I felt like the person dealing with me was here more for our beaches than trying to help me, um, was really astounding. And it says we have to do better. Yeah, absolutely. Now, looking ahead uh, to the future, Lisa, overall, what are concerns of survivors? Uncertainty. Uh, that was the, we asked people what's been the hardest for them since the fires. And if, I was expecting to see housing, right? But, and housing's part of uncertainty. But even 58% said the thing that makes them, that has been the hardest for them is their uncertain future. And what breaks my heart is when you look at the people most likely to say that, they're the people that should have the deepest roots here. They are our native Hawaiian communities. They are our kapuna. There are people who've lived on Maui for at least 15 years, and, and in many cases for generations. These are the people feeling the most uncertain about their future right now. Lisa Grove of Maui United Way, very illuminating research. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Aloha.